So I'm here in the warehouse district of Chicago, Illinois with Xavier Perez. And he's a world-renowned light painter. And he does something strikingly different. He combines urban exploring with light painting. His images are quite striking. How did you get involved in this? I've always loved uh, exploring the underbelly of the city. Uh, I've always felt an affinity with it. I feel very comfortable in a dark alley in some, you know, crumbling vacant lot somewhere. Early on in my photography, I was drawn to shooting at night. I'll do long, long exposures, 10 to 30 minutes. During that time, I'll light the scenes doing light painting and trying to transform these these very gritty, almost lifeless locations into um, almost the fantasy version. And this is the camera I use. It's a 50-year-old film camera. It's a Hasselblad. It was the camera that astronauts took to the moon. You take a risk in coming right. to some of these locations. Right, some um, cases you're, you might be trespassing. It can be dangerous. I've been doing this 24 years. Muggers and uh, cr crazed drug addicts try to attack me. Uh, um, uh, people point guns at me. Um, I've had, I've been surrounded by gangs who wanted to <laughs> destroy, Multiple gangs. destroy me. I mean, seriously, I've got But some... do you ever end up talking to the police? Have you ever gotten trespassing charges? Um, I have been caught trespassing a number of times, but I've never been caught breaking and entering. So that's, mm -hmm. you know, that's a big difference for yeah. the police. So if you cross a fence and the cops catch you, you know, I, I'm just the nicest guy in the world and I act like a, a buffoon, like, I'm so sorry, I didn't know, I'm a dummy, I, you know, and yeah. they'll yell Play at me, dumb. they'll say, you know, you get the f out of here right this second or you're spending f in jail tonight. And, okay. and I'll go, I'm so sorry, I'm leaving now. And I, you know, and I leave. So <laughs> that's... And, and you make a living doing this. Yeah, this is what I do for a living. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Let's go see, see your setup here. You, you already right. have some things preset yeah. in there. and. So we're gonna urban, we're gonna do some urban exploring. You got it. You gotta go over that fence. Okay, let's do it. All right. uh. Don't try this at home. Yeah, so it's, it's the chaos and the anarchy of these places that that uh, makes them kind of refreshing, um, uh, you know, and how nothing is fixed up. They're kind of like the, the, the surface of the moon. Nothing, anything that happens stays here. Oh, look. So this is our uh, glorious uh, corner here. This is uh, somewhere where um, people um, probably live at times and uh, certainly hang out drinking a lot so this is all your gear you got here yeah uh yeah a bunch of uh, spotlights um, spotlights yep yeah. oh cool handheld flashes uh-huh i actually wear a black hoodie black pants because i get in front of the camera to do my lighting half the time oh okay. but i remain invisible the exposure time is too long you know, I'm dressed in the dark clothes. I've got various things to hide my light. Ninja. <laughs> exactly. The way that I light these locations is in a very theatrical way because I see each of these as kind of a theater set for, um, you know, for all the characters that have come and gone over the years. And I think of the stories that, you know, if we knew all the stories, it would be pretty amazing, I think.
I'm going on this grand adventure across America, and you can come with me. You get to decide where we go next. Do you want to see some more abandoned buildings in Chicago? Or should we go to New York City and play with Matthew Silver? Or would you like to see me prank the hippies at the Grateful Dead concert in Chicago? You decide where we go next. It's your adventure too.